make a good video about this and it just takes time and sometimes time is stuff you don't have it seems seems like you don't have time so the question was and I get this periodically what do we do with the stumps when we're all done and uh, you just let me show you here like we went in and cut this here you see there's some popple stumps and there's birch stumps and uh, then you got a little beech stump over here and all the stumps get left um, and here's how it works I think I've explained this before maybe not maybe it's new subscribers there will be multiple trees that grow off from that stump um, there will be a clump that comes up all the way around there of shoots coming up out of there that will be trees and the same thing with that birch and with that maple over there now the aspen here these small aspen the shoots will come up out of the roots it won't come around the stump it'll come up out of the roots so the answer is we leave them if we were to take the stumps you wouldn't have no more trees grow in this area um, I mean you'd get some seeds that would that would grow but by leaving those stumps um, like this aspen stump here by leaving that there'll be multiple other shoots that come out around it and that's how it all works and I wanted to take a I wanted to take a lot of time and do a nice video of a current job that we're on and a job that we cut say four or five years ago and show you just what I mean by that because it's really interesting and I need to still do it because it's kind of cool to see how them trees grow back up but by leaving the stumps there's your regrowth now some people have asked do we go through and replant that was another big question that I get and the answer is no um, because out of these stumps and root systems you'll have so much regrowth with this hardwood it's unbelievable and like I said I got two of those questions last night one maybe one last night and one this morning so I wanted to clarify that real quick but I really need to do a video on it and show you just how all that works. I am currently waiting on a little bit of wood. There's not a whole lot left here. So we're just kind of getting some bundles here and there and over there and you know what I mean. So that's how that's going. I've been sitting there waiting for wood. So I said, let's go for a walk, you know, but now here's a trick here. Mikey showed up the other day when we were gone with his chainsaw. Yep. Dropped a couple trees. There's a couple more over there. But they got to gather them up. It just takes time. We're getting down to the nitty gritty on this one. So uh, once we get this job done, we got a. He's already cutting on the property next door. We do that one, and then we see where frost loss is at. Once we get those two knocked out, I got a little bit of wood where the old chipper's at, and I mean like less than a load, they think. So once we get this little bit of stuff knocked out, cross your fingers that frost loss will go up. It's beautiful out today. I mean, look, t-shirt weather up here, finally. But it's supposed to get cold by the end of the week. So as long as it keeps getting cold, they're not going to do nothing. So we'll hold out. But in the meantime, we got to get this all cleaned up. And then if, if we do run out of wood, um, that chipper needs some good maintenance. I got some stuff for that. We can maintain all the equipment, and then we'll see where we're at from there. So anyways... Like I said, just had 
a couple questions about what we do with the stumps and uh, we don't remove them we leave them right there that is just how it goes leave the stumps there let that regrowth pop up and like I said I'm gonna make another video and show you some jobs from years ago and current job that way I can give you a little idea what's going on here's a big old nasty birch clump that got cut off big old gnarly thing there goes Polly the quiet kitty cat so here's what I need I'm needing a little bit of help you know how everybody calls somebody something like I've watched some Ted Nugent stuff and he calls everyone that watches them little monkeys. <laughs> or YouTube land or YouTube world. Here's what I need. What do I call you guys? See, right there I said you guys and I'll have a lady say we're not all guys. So I get in trouble. So, go to the comment section Leave me some comments of what do I call everybody. Instead of saying hi everybody or hi everyone or something like that. So, if you do that, that'd be awesome. I'm sure there's going to be some good ones. But uh, anyways, thanks so much for watching guys and gals. I got 17 loads on this set of knives. Well, look at there. Woo wee! That. There ain't an edge on there. But. Had a good day. But it's late. Everybody's whooped. Load going out of here. Quite a bit of logs over there. Got a good amount of trucks out today. We just gotta see how much wood's left on the job. So.